hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and welcome to my channel today. And today I thought I'm gonna maybe kick off something that I'm gonna try and do more frequently and that is tags. Partially it's for a selfish reason. These videos are slightly easier to edit and I can get them up more regularly for you, for you guys. So is it really selfish if it's for you? <laughs> and it's just a really fun way to connect with the community and I also love hearing everyone's answers from this. If you're a creator, I absolutely tag you in any tags that I'm about to do. And this tag comes from Drea CN. I will link her channel below. She does amazing looks and lots of drugstore colorful eyeshadows and she's a great channel to watch. I highly recommend. And she created the makeup wishlist tag, which I just thought was a really fun way to sort of see what people are lusting over with makeup. I'm not on a low buy, but I kind of, at the same time, I do have stuff that I won't just buy. The look from today's video, I will link it up. I'm sure you've already seen it. And let's get into the tag. Um, so question number one, what is the very next makeup item you're planning on buying? So one of the things I've been doing is going down my list of, from my brands I want to try in 2019 and trying brands from there. And I've been trying quite a lot of Flower Beauty lately. They've come to Australia and they're quite cheap and affordable. And I've just been collecting items from them to try. But I think I'm going to maybe move on to another brand on that list. And Lethal Cosmetics is definitely keeping my eye. They've just restocked the Hive collection, which I would love to buy. I am going to Europe the end of March and I need to start saving some money. So it might... I might wait till I get back. If I am, if I don't buy much makeup before I go to Europe, it's going to be milk makeup. I just read that the UK has the end boots. And if you guys have milk makeup, I'm, I'm buying something. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know anything. If you've tried milk, tell me what to buy. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Number two, if you could walk into Sephora today and buy any one item, regardless of budget, what would it be? So I'm going to make this Sephora slash Mecca because I'm Australian. <laughs> And Mecca has exclusive contracts on NARS and Urban Decay. So, and for me, if I could walk into Sephora or Mecca, I would buy some of the Kevin O'Corn blush range. I have enough eyeshadows. And I am focusing more on base products and the Kevin O'Corn products. After reading Making Faces, I've just really wanted to try them and test them out and see what they're about. But to me, like $80 for a blush that's like uh, three different tones in one, not even separate pans. I'm not sure on, I wouldn't just buy that money. I wouldn't just splurge on it willy nilly. So if I could just do, if I didn't, if it didn't matter, Kevin O'Corn. And then it goes, what is the oldest item on your Sephora Loves product? So like I said, Sephora here stocks different products, but I do keep a wish list. I keep track very much and I'd say one of the oldest items on like the oldest item on here on my wish list would be the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette it's just beautifully colorful I thought it was gonna be limited edition and then it became permanent every time I go in I look at it I swatch it it's just beautiful but I don't want to spend $80 on it so yeah I just keep looking at it and one day maybe I'll pick it up or not. I don't know. What is the newest item on your Sephora loves list? That would be the Viseart eyeshadow palette in dark mattes. Viseart has just come to Sephora in Australia and that is a palette I've been lusting over for a very long time and that I really want. And then what perfume is on the top of your wish list? So Mecca have a brand called Floral Street and Replica. I do have one of like the roll-on things from Replica. I would love just like either one of those brand perfumes. Both of their bottles are really pretty and cute. They have very different vibes, but they smell stunning and they're super expensive perfumes. Uh, Replica, I love their like aesthetic where it's like, I don't know, like it smells like a beach walk. I'll put pictures up. And then Floral Street's a lot more florally and female. I'd love to try either one of them. 
and pretty much any I think I'd be happy with whatever one they were I sprayed like an espresso one on myself from Floral Street yesterday and damn I was just in love with that scent all day and Replica they have some amazing scents as well what is the new release you're most looking forward to I'm not really sure on this one <laughs> so there's nothing specifically like currently that's being released but the release I'm looking the like the new release you're looking the most forward to is the Menagerie Cosmetics blue palette that we've only seen like a real sneak peek of I think is it octopus I'm super keen to try Menagerie Cosmetics in general are there any drugstore products you want that haven't yet pulled the trigger on I've never been that good at shopping at the drugstore Flower Beauty's caught my eye lately and I have been enjoying their products I want to buy no the, like I'm such a bougie bitch I'm so sorry I wish there was more that I wanted from the drugstore like for us it's the chemist I'm keen to try some more foundations from the drugstore so what I would love or primers and setting sprays I'm trying to decrease the amount that I spend on these products so I'd absolutely love to know if you have any recommendations for me I do have the Maybelline Super Stay and the Flower Beauty foundation so outside of that one what base product should I be trying from the drugstore please let me know so the eyeshadow palette you've been lusting over the most Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice is there but I don't I don't look at it and go oh I want this like it doesn't make me mm, <laughs> per se like what is a palette that really I don't know what I'm lusting over I should have part you're lusting over the most I don't I mean this is terrible isn't it I don't feel like I per se lust over eyeshadow palettes I see them I want them I buy them <laughs> and that's about it I think for me maybe and I've got the okay palette right here so Cleon Cleon Day Cleon D cosmetics are coming out with another release of these palettes and they said it'll be the final one and I'm wondering about picking up the Paleo palette. Just, they do look quite cool. I'm just not sure. So, yeah, this would be a palette that I definitely lusted over. It just, there's something about it that really intrigued me. And look, I've already made stains on it. There's just something about this just intrigued me. I really wanted to try it. And I've been happy with, like, the shadows have all performed beautifully so far as I would expect them and yeah I'm thinking of adding its friend to it the Palio but I'm not I'm not sure but those are definitely palettes that I lust over and just constantly want the uh, product you're waiting for your next birthday Christmas to ask for I don't think anyone in my family will buy me makeup anymore I've tried to get my boyfriend to buy me makeup for Christmas and he wasn't having it so I got a microphone which hey I'm not complaining my audio has been a lot better um I definitely usually just as a general rule wait for Christmas to ask for perfumes because I'm really bad at buying perfumes and the Lancome La Vie Belle is one of my favorite scents of all time and so if I've run out of things to ask for I usually ask for that one what is the item that you're dying to have that is not available in your country slash area so in Australia we are quite limited. Milk is definitely one of those brands. I've already just mentioned them. Wet n Wild is a brand I would just love to have easier access to. Yes, I can get it from Glam Radar and like other websites. But I'd love to just be able to see the products in person and look at them. I don't think that's too much to ask. And I just would like to try them. What is the thing that you really want but you'll never buy because it's too expensive? It's probably going to be a Natasha Denona palette. I want them and they look quite pretty, but realistically the color palette isn't extremely unique enough for me to justify that price point per se, like with Viseart. Dark mattes, that's a, like that's a color theme I can get behind. But the Natasha Denona is very reminiscent of a lot of purplish palettes. The Safari palette looks really nice, the Tropical palette looks nice, but had like not the best reviews. And I just struggle with spending that much money on an eyeshadow palette if I don't love every single shade. 
if there was a product if there was a beauty product genie who could grant one wish what would you wish for if there was a beauty product genie who could grant you one wish what would you wish for so a beauty product genie. Oh, I just watched her video too. Ah, okay. So if there was a beauty product genie who could grant you one wish, what would you wish for? I think like a spray that would make our magic, like make your makeup stay the exact same throughout the whole day. Even if like me, you get super oily eyelids or you get really oily or sweaty and stuff like that. I wish that there was like, you know, you finished and did your makeup and then you had a makeup spray that you could spritz and it would just keep everything in place for the whole day and you would still be looking the same as you left the house. That would be really cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will list a few creators down below that I tagged to do this tag. I'd love to see your answers for this. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's little taggy tag. <laughs> I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.